A new film museum backed by Sir Peter Jackson has been given the green light in Wellington. As Ben Irwin reports, it'll be part of a $134 million convention centre located on the city's waterfront. It will be a museum unlike any other, drawing from one of the most valuable collections of Hollywood memorabilia in the world. The collector's items which they have wonderfully agreed to share and put in the museum. Along with Jackson, the museum is supported by Weta Workshop's Sir Richard Taylor. They'll be part of a group that will pump money into the venture, run through a new company called Movie Museum Limited. There's a, an amazing private collection, which is owned by Sir Peter and Sir Richard, uh, of other movies from, you know, from the history of movie making, actually, and that will provide a unique extension. The three-storey building on Cable and Wakefield Streets will include a convention centre on the top floor, with a capacity for 2,000 people. Thousands of priceless props, models and set pieces will go into the museum on the bottom two floors. The whole complex around 16,000 square metres. I think it's in the perfect place across the road from Te Papa. I think it will hugely add to the reasons for tourists to come to the city. Wellington Mayor Celia Wade-Brown says Jackson and Taylor's popular war exhibitions show their talents can translate into exhibitions capable of drawing huge crowds. Both have been incredibly successful and there are still queues and queues for Gallipoli. Construction will start next year and it's expected to be completed by 2018. Ben Irwin, 3 News.